What's up guys, this is Grandma Mayo here and I'm bringing you another tutorial. This one's for follow alerts. So stay tuned to this video. It's very, very easy and I'm going to give you guys everything you need to know about this and it takes not even 5-10 to minutes to set up, not even that. Um, you're going to need a Twitch account. Uh, you want to go to twitchalerts.com, register, sign up, all that good stuff. And you want OBS, Open Broadcast Software. I'll put all the links in the description. And uh, also CLL, CLR Browser Source Plugin. Now for your CL, CLR Browser Source Plugin and OBS, you want to make sure you either have 32-bit or 64-bit. Make sure you match up the bits with that. Like if you have OBS 32-bit, make sure you download CLR Browser 32-bit version. All right. So you have your Twitch alerts, you have everything downloaded, you have your Twitch account set up, and you have OBS. Um, speaking of OBS, we're going to open that up. So, okay. You want to go to Twitch alerts, set your donations up if you're going to use it. There's your uh, stuff right there. Just make sure this is connected. It'll say disconnect or connect. And if it's a new account, it's pretty much you just got to click connect and put all your stuff in. Go down to alert box version 2. Very self-explanatory here. Uh, alert settings, it's whatever. It could be, um, <clears throat> you can change your layout, your background. Don't mess with the background. That's uh, pretty much chroma key. Uh, go to a follow alerts. This is where you can mess with all your stuff. There's your image, what you want to pop up. There's your sound, sound volume, alert duration. Font settings, you can go to Google google.com slash fonts when you find the one that you want um, the name will be right next to the font you just copy it and paste it in here this is your font size your font weight is the thickness of your uh, font that you want it's like basically like a bold um, subscription alerts what you probably won't use um, donation alerts and then you have hosting alerts I don't use hosting I use donation and follow alerts so you have all this set up and all that's done. So what you want to do is you want to have Twitch alerts. You want to copy all, select all that, copy it. And if you want to test it out, click launch and then click t test follow alert and go back to the thing you just launched, the little green screen thing here. This is chroma key. Um, it'll pop up here in a second. Just give it a second. It works for all that. That's how you play uh, donation and uh, follow alerts. But here it should it should pop up here shortly. That's actually what I have mine set to. And uh, what you want to do is you want to copy all this. Um, we'll make a new one right here. Uh, add scene. That's what you want to do. You want to add a scene. And this is what it should look like when you first uh, start OBS up. And you want to click add CLR browser keep it as that and you want to paste that right here paste what you copied into there and then click preview stream and if you edit scene you'll see the box if you edit scene you can drag this around and this is where it'll appear on your uh, screen that you're hosting on um, if you hold control I think it's control yeah control you can or no not control if you hold alt you can like manually adjust it it's either alt control or shift if you hold them you can like manually easily adjust it i think it's i'm pretty sure it's shift um yeah it's shift if you hold shift it makes it a lot easier um we'll just use that for now and then if you click launch and then you click test follow alerts it'll actually play right here watch See, that's what you just copied and pasted in there. So, okay, that's set up there. Let's say you want to have um, uh, your most recent follower. You want to show that on the stream. Sorry, that's playing in the background there. That's I forgot I had that back open. Recent follower. Try to label all this to keep it nice. Um, we're going to use... We'll do this recent follower. This is just your text to show recent follower. Um, now, what you want to do next is you want to add another text. This is just, you know, just showing um, 
it's not going to show the recent follower. You got to manually add that recent follow follower code. Um, use text from file. That's what you want to pick. And what you want to do is when you have Twitch alerts um, downloaded, there's a folder. I'll show you. Um, YouTube. I use it all like this. So there's your Twitch alert folder. Make sure you put it somewhere where you can recognize where it's at. You go into here and you want to go down to most recent follower right there. Click OK. There's mine. It's not going to show it up. It's not going to show up on your screen because you're not going to have anybody uh, followed since you downloaded it. Um, but it will show up um, once you have the program open and you keep it open, open while you're streaming. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that too. Here's your Twitch alerts program. You want to op keep this open. Every time you stream, keep this open. This is your uh, this is also your settings too. You can change that if you want to. Um, most recent follower. And if you if you don't know what you're putting in, if you can't figure out what your what notepad you need to open up, just click what you need, like most recent follower, and it tells you the name of the file name right here. So when you put when you do the, like the input box uh, to show like most recent donation or most recent follower or whatever you want to do, it'll say the name of the file right here. So all you got to do is look for that when you use the text from file. Like uh, all right, <clears throat> we'll do most recent donation um, and I'll give you a, I'll show you what's going on here um, recent donation once again this is just to show you you know this is what I want people to see on the channel this next one we're gonna do is, is gonna be the input this is what's gonna show up when somebody donates um, you wanna go to text again donation code I just mark it like that to make it easier. You use text from file. That's what you want to use. You want to go back to your Twitch alerts thing. Uh, go to most recent donator, and it'll show it'll show the donator and the donation amount. So just use that, um, and then you'll get a box like this because I don't have no donation set up yet, or not set up, but I, I don't have any don donations yet. So this is what it's going to look like. Just set it there. It's going to be a little red box. It's probably going to be a little red box up here too. Just set it right next to here because it'll it'll come in right there once once somebody pops up and um and it's also right here too. So that's pretty much all you need. Just make sure you have all the uh, things downloaded, all the programs, and you're good to go. So I hope this this uh, tutorial helped you guys out. And uh, if you guys need anything else, just let me know.